Hey, Warrior. I'm getting up nice, up nice and close and personal with you today. So today is going to be a little bit different. Today is our final day of our cardio week, week two. And I was thinking that I would like to challenge you to try something on your own, something different, something that you can start to explore your expression of how you like to sweat. So over the, just like a little personal story that may help you or maybe inspire you or let go of some of the blocks that you've been experiencing in maybe getting there. So um, I always hated cardio. I think I told you in one of my emails, always, every, I mean, not everyone. I did not like it. It was something that I did. I ran um, often for a while because I thought I was taught through Cosmo Magazine and other BS information that you needed to run to be in shape, that you needed to run to be fit, to look fit, to have a six pack. You needed to do cardio and I took that as me needing to run. So I would run and for a little bit I liked, enjo I enjoyed running outside and it was nice to be in nature and connect and all that and I did really look forward to it at some points. And then at other, another time, it became an obligation. It became more about I have to do cardio in order to burn calories. I have to um, do, you know, 30 to 45 minutes of walking on a treadmill, dreadmill, um, because I want a certain aesthetic and this is what I need to do to get there. So I did and I would, but I really hated it and I really did not enjoy it. And it became something that I didn't look forward to. And I would just continue to push myself to do it because I'm like, you know, this is what you committed to, this is what you want, and so this is what you have to do to get there. Not realizing that that wasn't true at all. Um, what started to shift it for me was when I started bodybuilding um, and lifting weights more seriously, the coach I was working with wanted me to cut back on cardio. He was like, we are going to figure out a different way for you to get in your aerobic exercise. And I want you to figure out what you enjoy. I want you to do the things that you love to do just because not from an aesthetic point of view, not from a I need to burn a calorie point of view, but like, what do you really just enjoy doing? So I had to remind myself of what that was. And for a while, I couldn't even remember. I was like, I, I don't really like running. I don't really want to force myself to do that. What do I like? I remembered I liked tennis. I, I started to realize um, that I liked to do activities that had me learn something that was like a skill involved in it. So shortly after that, I picked up ballroom dancing and there was a cardio aspect to that because some of the dances are very aerobic and you're moving around a lot and you're moving fast. So there it was like I didn't even care about how hard I was working or how high my, you know, um, how long I had to push myself for because I love to dance, whether it was ballroom dancing or just like taking a dance class or dance around my apartment for, you know, to be honest, I just, I would be out of breath. I'd be sweating, but I'd be like, give me more, like, give me more of the movements. Like, let's do the choreography again. <laughs> this is not a representation of how I dance, by the way. <laughs> don't judge me on that. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Um, so <laughs> what's my chance? Yeah, so it was more about like the movement and the skill and the enjoyment and just getting lost in the moment where the aerobicness just wasn't a factor. It was like I look forward to dancing and breathing and moving and expressing myself and it's not even like a thought of, um, you know, this is, I am obligated to do this. It was a joy. And yeah, there were times where my cardiovascular endurance was challenged and I was even more motivated to um, bring that up, to level up in that because I wanted to be able to dance longer or I wanted to do more intense movements. Um, I wanted to do bigger choreography, whatever it was. There was a bigger reason beyond me burning calories or doing it for my health, you know, I'm just being honest. Um, then I made the connection that, wow, I feel amazing up here. My mood is just on another level. I feel alive. I feel alive when I do this. And I'm going to 
start to get emotional, actually. Um, yeah, it just took on a bigger meaning and gave me so much joy and, like, reconnected me to life and myself and other people and, like, just what it means to, like, feel at all. Anyway, it was powerful. Um, today, these days, my uh, aerobic and cardiovascular endurance comes majorly from Muay Thai, which is kickboxing. Um, the Thai version of kickboxing probably originated in Thailand before Americans picked it up. So it is punches and kicks and knees and elbows and all the things. And it's, again, I love the feeling it gives me. I love this learning the skill of, of moving my body in that way. I love the strategy of learning what a fight is and connecting with another human being. And there's just so many levels to it. There's so many layers to it that, yeah, I might be dying in a class, but I'm like, give me more. This feels awesome. Like, I want to learn how to do that. And I don't care if I have to do it for 20 times or 500 times in a row. Like, and I'm going to get my cardiovascular endurance up so that I can continue to push myself. So it's like, a, it's just a totally, it just took on a totally different meaning, um, similar to what dance did for me. Um, and I just got a bike. I'm very excited about it. I just bought a bike um, a few weeks ago. So I've been cycling around New York City on the bike paths, don't worry, not really on the street because it's a little scary. Um, and I wear a helmet, yes, I don't care how uncool I look, I just totally drop that ego, I'm like all about safety, safety 101. If I could wear elbow pads and knee pads too, I would, I mean, I could do that. Um, <laughs> but, all right, I'm going, I'm, di I'm going off on tangents, yeah. So, biking, moving outside, seeing the city from a different point of view, um, taking, you know, like riding just like in areas that I would never have been before. I see, I've seen so much of the city. I've never even lived. I've never even been before, even though I've lived here for six years, even though I've lived in New York my entire life. I have not seen these parts of the city until I got my butt on a bike. I'm really enjoying just the experience of moving and sweating and connecting outside and being in nature and just being outdoors and it's just another level. So these are things that I've discovered through putting myself out there and trying something new and um, just being open, just being open to doing it. So long story short, my challenge for you today, and it's, it's for today, but it's really, I mean, we know this is for like an ongoing Thing. I think I think you've caught on with that. Like this isn't just about 30 days. This is about you like rediscovering um, what you love and what's going to move you. So this is a challenge for you to start being open, to start testing out new things, whether it's inside a gym, whether it's inside your home, whether it's outdoors, whether it's getting back on the bike again. Maybe you do love running and that's something you miss. Maybe just walking outside is something that you haven't done in a while. It's amazing when you walk down a street and you're just like, oh my gosh, I haven't even like noticed what's on this street and these beautiful trees and flowers and like what it looks like in different seasons and yada, yada, yada. So I'm encouraging you to be open, try new things, try something that um, maybe you'll fall in love with again that's going to uh, encourage you to move in a way that, you know, you don't have to motivate yourself more. You don't have to motivate yourself to do that you don't need to feel obligated to do, that you can just enjoy and enjoy the experience of it and not just like trudge along trying to get to this outcome of X. So that's my, um, that's my challenge for you for today and ongoing a little bit every single day, but there is no vit movement video with me today. It's just me talking to you. So your goal is to get out and do something um, with your day today. So good luck. I want to hear about what that was or what that is. So please email me, like tell me how it was. Tell me what you did. Um, I'm definitely interested. And obviously as the challenge keeps going on, I keep calling it a challenge. As this program keeps continuing, I want to hear about your experience. I want to hear about what you like, what you don't like, what you're reconnecting to hopefully within yourself. And um, yeah, so I will leave it at that. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.